let's set up a bullet journal. Christina from Creations with Christina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to be notified when I post new videos. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up. And as always, all the links to everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the YouTube description. So I thought I would share with you my bullet journal. I've mentioned it a couple of times in some of my, my videos. And I'm ready to set up a uh, remainder, remainder of the 2019 year and 2020 bullet journal. I'm hoping to get all the rest of this year and all of next year into one one bullet journal. I found bullet journaling through Boho Berry here on YouTube. Her name is Kara. I've gone back and I've watched her kind of flip throughs of her planner and walk through of how she set up her um, bullet journals and she's done a couple where she's done every day, filmed every day for a whole month of her setup of her planner and how she uses it every day. And it really inspired me so much that I even got my husband hooked on doing this. I do have two bullet journals. I have one for home, this is my home one, and then I have one for work as well. I'm not gonna show you my work one because I do have information in there that is you know, work related and and I use it a lot for taking notes and at meetings and stuff, but I thought I would go through my work, uh, or my home setup of how I set up my home planner. Before I get into that, because this is my first video of ever doing a bullet journal, I thought I would just kind of go through my basic supplies and the things that I use all the time for bullet journaling. Now I am a very minimalist bullet journal. If you're not familiar with bullet journaling and um, the world of bullet journaling, there is a, a website you can go to. It's uh, Ryder Carroll came up with this method and he does have a book all about bullet journaling. I found all of my information and all of my inspiration and all of my different ideas from um, YouTube and Instagram and Pinterest. I have my Pinterest link um, in the description. I do do a lot of uh, my bullet journaling is like, very inspired from, from what I find online. My supplies, I have this little home cube pencil organizer, pen organizer, that again, this was something that Boho Berry was using and this is what I keep all of my supplies in. But my mostly what I use on an everyday planning and, and monthly planning, I always have a pencil and eraser because I do have to sketch everything out before I go in with pen. I do keep a Uniball Signo broad point or broad tip white gel pen in my bag. This is my correction pen. And I thought this was a genius idea. And I've got, you know, tons of gel pens for white gel pens for card making. So I have one of those in there that's a perfect correction pen. My actual everyday writing pen varies between, um, always the Tombow Mono drawing pens. And I go between the 01 and the 03 pens. Uh, mostly because of the tip and sometimes I really want a very very fine tip it just depends on my mood if I'm looking for something a little less subtle and then I go for the 03 if I want something a little bit darker I have a little ruler because I do most of my planning at my dining room table so I have this in there so I can draw my lines and then I use my Tombow uh, brush tip markers for any kind of highlighting and outlining and also for keeping track of my mood trackers and my daily habits. So I keep a variety of pen colors in here and I switch them out on the season. Um, for the summer I was using all these bright colors but I'm slowly thinking I might, might move over to more pastels. And then I have just a couple of extra pens, washi tape, post notes, and that kind of thing in the bottom and things that usually are just buried underneath my markers. But all of this stuff fits perfectly in here and it's kept right with my bullet journal uh, so that I can sit down daily and do my planning. For my bullet journal, I um, actually I'll just talk about the cover first. I use a Chic Sparrow cover. I love these covers. They are, they are a traveler's notebook so you can put your, depending on what planner you use in here. This particular planner has a great binding where it opens up. I can feed one of the strings through. I just unknot it and feed it through and then knot it again down in the bottom and that's how I keep my my bullet journal in here. And then I also have another little loose leaf bullet journal back here. Sometimes I use it for playing around with pens, but then I also use it for some collections that I do have in here, like my master list and my grocery list and things that I don't like to have to keep writing out every time I switch to a new bullet journal. For my actual bullet journal, this is my old one. I'm gonna pull out a new one. Now I bought two of these 
because I am working on both my home and my work bullet journals. And this is my favorite planner. I started off with the, and I apologize if I say this wrong, the Leuchtturm 1917 planners. And I love that planner, but I didn't like the quality of the paper. I love the, um, I love a little bit of a thicker paper because then I don't have to worry about bleed through with pens. And I love that the pages in the Leuchtturm are numbered and there's an index. And I found this one on Amazon and I just bought it on a whim. There wasn't many reviews on it and um, it's become my absolute favorite bullet journal. It comes in a box, so when I'm done, I can store this away and even note on the side the dates for this planner. And I keep them on the shelf here in my craft room. This is my the Minimalist Art, minimal, Minimalism Art Bullet Journal. It is a dot grid bullet journal. It has really nice um, dark dots in here so I can see them really well. A couple of my Leuchtturm planners that I have used. Sometimes the dots are really good and sometimes they're not. So this one has been pretty consistent. It is numbered and the paper quality of this is absolutely amazing. I do not get any kind of shadowing or bleed through. I mean, I can see some of the lines through the pages, but not like you do in the Lightstrom. And it also has an index page in the front. This book also lays just amazingly flat. The uh, Leuchtturm planner, some of the pages are kind of glued together and you have to pull them apart. And I just love how flat this lays and I can't talk about this planner enough. But this is the one that is my work planner. And I'm going to set up my remainder 2019 planner with you guys. I'm gonna speed up the video, turn on some music, I'll jump in every once in a while and kind of just explain to you what I'm doing. Now this is the one that's going to be my home planner same book it's the minimalism art oh and another thing i didn't mention is this planner is about five dollars cheaper than the Leuchtturm. they're like 15 15 dollars the planners do come with two ribbons that i do set um use throughout my planner and i just loved how closely matching my cover it matches so we're going to go ahead and set this up and like i said i'm going to turn on some music pull out my major supplies i did go through and pencil in everything that I needed to um, put in here so that I'm all ready to go. And we're going to start off with the first page. This is page number one. And this is going to be the key, my key page. Now I'm just going to pull out my 03 pen here. And I'm going to start put it, uh, laying this out. <laughs> it before it's gone One last summer before it's fall Tune your strings and play your cards My first page is my key and I have all of my different um, little symbols that I like to use. I use circles for meet uh, meetings and appointments, little triangle for events, a dot for tasks. When I finish a task, I put an X through it. If I have scheduled a task and ended up being canceled or not going to do it, I put a line through it. The task, if I planned on doing it that day and move it to the next day, I put a little arrow for that it was migrated to the next day. Exclamation point for any kind of ideas. A asterisk for important and a little line for notes. The next section is my at a glance. I do, um, this is the, like the, the, the most intense part is this side. This is my at a glance area and I'm going to fill this out because I'm, you plan on using this from 2019 into 2020. I did take the last three months and put them right here so I can kind of note any kind of um, important things that are going on during that month. And then I have my 2020 at a glance. Game of darts, and you're beating.
again, I can't stop to breathe One last lie before the truth One last fight before I lose I ask myself, where should I go? Did I do enough to feed my This is a lot of work putting all these little calendars in and then I also did the October, November, December for 2019. I'm going to fill in important dates in here and then this is my 2020 and now the next section I'm going to do is my future log. smile inside my head and I'm singing to the people passing by little lucky Ben is with big wishes in my bed just enough to buy new strings for my guitar making white angels in the storm monthly tasks. I like to kind of put some things that I do on a not so regular basis into a little uh, calendar. So I'm going to work on setting that up. You're my soul, you're my king when I grow old and I promise that you
things that I want to do. I'm going to move on to birthdays and anniversaries. I like to list all of my family members and friends' uh, birthdays in here as well as there are um, any anniversaries. added my little highlighting colors in here and then finished up my birthdays and anniversaries list and now I'm gonna move on to my section where I write down the books I read um, I'm going to actually finish up 2019 in my old planner and then start 2020 in this one <laughs> One last ticket before it's gone. One last summer be I'm going to leave this play page open in case I need to move on to a second page for the books I read in 2020. I'm just going to leave it blank because if I don't, I'll put something else in there. And then I'm going to do a three page spread for video ideas. And I pretty much set that up the same way I do my um, books I read or red in 2020. So we're going to go ahead and fill this one in. It's Tune your strings and play your cards. Lead the words heat me like a game of darts. And you're beating, beating on my drum. set up my bullet journal so I have my my key page I have my um, kind of future log for the rest of 2019 my 2020 at a glance which I use all the time my future log for 2020 then I have my monthly tasks which I'm gonna fill in birthdays and anniversaries for the year books I read in 2020 I left this one blank so I can either expand the books I read or I can use it for something else and then I have three page spread for my video ideas and then I'm going to start my October schedule here so I'm not going to do that that one on uh, video today if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see monthly videos on how I set up my months for uh, my bullet journaling make sure you leave a comment below and I'll I'll go ahead and continue making videos. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found um, bullet, you know, how I set up my bullet journal helpful. Again, I do keep everything very minimal and mainly it's just all writing and that kind of thing. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.